doing my first HHO test. And the generator that we're using is a sealed cell unit. You see it here, the circulating line from around there, right to there, to the bottom of the container. And you can see the hydrogen bubble coming up like crazy. All right, we are bubbling away there big time. Big time bubbles, big time hydrogen, right out of this beautiful little unit right here. You guys, I made a little secret here. You got to go with this, with this uh, design here. That the electrolyte is completely encased within the cell, where you're not losing any current. Now, I'll give you some data proof here. You guys can see this. We have, we're drawing 25.64 amps at this moment. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Need to zoom in. Ah, got these gloves on here. You can see it there. Yeah, 25.69 amps. You are 76 amps. All right. And coming through the system here, bubbling. Bubbling like a mad dog, right? All right. Coming around here. And what do we have? We have us a nice airflow gauge here, and we can get our reading. I hope you guys can see this without being too bright. Now it shows a, a little black ball in there, but we're showing it two liters a minute there. 1.75, two liter. All right, that's what we're showing there. We'd be better off just having this back like this. You can see that there. Very important data right here. Two liters, 1.75, two liters. Now what's happening is a little ball in there. It gives the reading. It's uh, it's getting a little bit of moisture on it, so it, it's causing it to be a little heavier than it would be. So it, it's actually probably about a good two liters a minute is what's really going on there. All right, so that's running that. Coming back over to the system here now. We do have some serious, serious production going on here for one single cell. It's a ten. It's a one cell that has ten cells in it. It's one unit with ten cells. So all my uh, cells get to run at that 1.2 to 1.48 for most efficiency versus power usage. Now this is what we're doing right now with this unit, you see the bubbles actually just flying up through there. The thing that's so cool about this system is that it flows through here, right out the bottom of the bubbler, all right, it's flowing through there, comes into the bottom side of the unit, all right, there's the bottom, lower side, so it's coming in there, going through all 10 plates, and then coming out on the top side here. As you can see. All right, there we are. Now, I'm going to show you some other cool things right here, right now. This will be way cool. You guys see, I have a temperature gun, and we'll see where we're at. We've been running about 25 minutes now. We get this temperature gun, and we'll see what it is. We're at 118 degrees. 118, 119. That's what we're running at. In the system here, we can take it and run it through here. And we're running at about 92, 95 degrees on the outside plate. You can see that right there. 97, 110, 107. Now let's see, let's get in here. We can measure that inside plate. We have our positive 12 volts. And as you can see, we're running about 108 degrees. 108 degrees right there, right on that center, when I measure that center plate. And that's the center plate right where the 12 volts is connected. So if I even touch it there, Let's get this focus right, about right there. Yeah, we're running 105, 106 degrees, 111. I'm right in there. 111. 107. So we're definitely running pretty cool here. Let's see here, we're running uh, 119 degrees. It's showing right now on that. Okay, it's after 25 minutes here. 
I think that's an accurate reading there. 119, yeah, we're about 119 degrees is our bath out here now, which is still very good temperatures here. Okay, let's get our amp meter on again. Okay, check out our amp meter. We're drawing 26 amps. Yeah, we can see that there. I know how important it is for some of you guys to be able to see some of these numbers there. 25 amps, 26 amps, right? Come through there, single 10 cell. Running 2 liters a minute. I hope that's visible to the YouTube right there. There we go, some good production there, and you can see the gas probably in the background coming out the tube there a little bit. You can see the gas, hydroxy gas coming out there. Yeah, right there in the back background, it gives a nice view there, you get to see it coming out. Get our two liters a minute too. Alright YouTubers, here we go. The direct current and our next thing we're going to do, I don't know if I could edit it within this, we're going to do it with our pulse width modulation, which of course we have ourselves a real bad system that we're going to be hooking up here. We got amp meters, we got O2 pre and before and after map sensor volt gauges and everything. We got the whole works pulse width modulation, frequency, amperage, input, everything. So guys, that'll be our next uh, video there. And that's it. Yo, yo, first test here. Almost getting ready to put her in the car. And we know we're definitely going to be able to get a little bit better gas mileage with production like this. Hoping with the pulse width modulation that we're definitely going to get a, maybe you'll get the same kind of production hopefully with 15 amps, 17 amps. That would be way cool. All I know is that this system right here is the bad boy. It's clean, it's intact. Even if the hydrogen implodes, all right? We won't have a problem here with this system. You guys got to watch with your glass containers and everything. That stuff explodes, man. It's going to glass going to go all over the place. There we go. Bottom line. Coming out. Coming in, actually. Bottom line coming in. Boom, boom. There the top line coming back out. I hope you can see some of these bubbles on this thing. It shows up. I hope it shows up a little bit going through the tube there as well as in the bottle itself but we're definitely got some way cool production going on there and back to our last